Hello, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. We're gonna do something really fun today and wonderful. It's called our Cow Camp Meat Pie, and it is a wonderful one-pot dish, and it's great this time of year because they're starting to move cows down off the mountain. So when they come into camp, we've got something wonderful for them to eat. And what we're gonna do today is I've got a pound of hamburger that I've got in our Dutch oven with onions and chopped minced garlic. And of course, I have all kinds of wonderful vegetables going on today. We went out and harvested our green beans. As you can see, we have an overabundance and tons of these little wonderful cherry tomatoes, all different colors. And what I did with those is I just took the ends off and put them in here whole. So what we have going on for our vegetables today, but with stew, there is no rules. You can put anything you want in it. But we've got a lot of green beans, kind of heavy on the green beans, because we've got a lot going on today. And we have corn, carrots, rutabagas, which are coming on, um, celery, fresh basil from the garden, and of course corn, and a little bit of fresh mushrooms that we had. And what we're gonna do first today is we're gonna take this out in our Dutch oven cooking area that we've got prepared and brown our hamburger. And if you need to drain off any grease, drain that off at that time. And then we're gonna pour in all of our wonderful vegetables, stir that all together really well. And I've got two cups of beef broth that I've got prepared here, and I put in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce to kind of pick it up. I've got some tomato sauce. This is a wonderful seasoning that I like to use. It's called Bragg's Herbs Seasoning. It's got like 24 different spices. I put about a tablespoon in that in our vegetables and toss that up really well. And then, of course, we have our cracked pepper. We put a fair amount of that on that. And then my husband likes to kick it up a bit, so he got a little carried away with the cayenne pepper this morning, so it is gonna have a bite, but you don't have to do that. And I don't know if you've noticed, but in our recipes, we don't add salt. There's already a lot of sodium in other foods, and especially when you add these things. But if you wanna add more salt, you can certainly do that. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and please leave a comment. And we also have a website now, and it, it is wyomingdutchovencooking.com. When you go to there, you will have a free guide and a recipe book. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. We'll be outside getting this all prepared and getting ready for those cowboys and cowgirls coming in. Thank you. Our meat is browning, and I'm gonna check on it right now. As you can see, we've, we're out here, and we've got briquettes on top and briquettes on the bottom. We wanted this fairly hot so it browned. There we go, it's ready for our vegetables. You know, and if you don't want to use hamburger, you can use stew meat, chuck meat, whatever kind of meat you like, but we just use hamburger for this one. I'm gonna put my vegetables on here and mix this all together. You can see we got lots of yummy vegetables. My tomato sauce. And two cups of beef broth, which is gonna take two cups here. We're gonna let this cook for about a couple hours and let all these vegetables cook together. And then when this is all done and cooked real well, it'll probably take a couple hours. We'll put the lid back on it and keep checking it and add the briquettes as needed. And then when this is all cooked, we have a very special topping that we like to put on top of it, fluffy mashed potatoes. You can't go bad on that. All right, we'll get this all cooked and you'll see the finished product and you'll be really hungry and so will those cowboys and cowgirls. Our potatoes and our mixture all got done here. As you can see, it's bubbling and the vegetables are all done. So what I'm gonna do here is put our mashed potatoes, and as you can see, they're real mashed potatoes because they're lumpy. We'll put this on top, kind of dowel it on top and kind of spread it around. Oh boy, this is gonna be hearty. 
I bet everybody better write in with big appetites. Of course they will. They've been moving cows all day. You know, you can always use instant potatoes if you don't want to go this route, which really, if you're up in the mountains, instant potatoes are an easy thing, but we just have lots of potatoes from our garden. So that's what we're doing here. You want to try to get it all over the top here. Okay, now we're going to sprinkle some cheese on top. Then I'm going to put the lid back on and bake it for about another half hour. Then we'll be ready to eat. We don't need to add any more coals because this has got plenty of, of heat going on. This is such a wonderful, hearty one dish meal. We just love it. And yes, it's great for cow camp when you got all those hungry people rolling in after working all day long. But you know, we love taking this when we're up in the mountains, camping, fishing, canoeing, whatever. We really like it when we're up cutting wood in the fall, because when you come in, you're really hungry. Just remember, our motto is great food, shared with friends and family, equals great times. Thank you for joining us today. Here's to all of our viewers. Till we meet again, great.